to a new episode of Bogan's Guide to Wine. I'm Sampy. Lurchy. Today we are going to go back to South Africa, my friend. Oh, South Africa! South Africa. So before I carry on too much about Cedarburg and blah blah blah, let's have a look at this clip right now. G'day guys, welcome to another special episode of Bogan's Guide to Wine. I'm here with Yaku. That's correct, isn't it? Yes. <laughs> now we're in a Cedarburg winery. Now if you cross the Pilbara with Margaret River, this is this place. It's the most incredible landscape I've ever seen for a winery. Uh, we'll check some photos up in a sec, but uh, what can you tell us about Cedarburg? Yeah, well, Cedarburg, it's the highest lying wine cellar in the Western Cape. It used to be the highest in South Africa, but they planted some vineyards in the Sutherland region two or three years ago, which uh, is slightly higher than the Cedarburg. Uh, the Cedarburg, it's uh, ideal area for wine production. It's very isolated, which will make people think you can't really make wine here, but it actually makes it ideal for the production of good quality wines. The altitude, it gives you nice cool climate conditions. Uh, it's a continental climate, so you get cool night temperatures and, and moderate day temperatures. You get a difference of about 20 degrees Celsius between day and night temperatures here. And yeah, it, uh, with, yeah the, um, it's an, the isolation, it gives you really, um, yeah, it gives you virus free conditions. So, so we almost spray no chemicals on our vineyards here so it, uh, it's a very healthy area to grow grapes we get no rot on our grapes here it's very very low humidity so you um, so the grapes dry out very quickly uh, when they get wet so therefore there's no rot on any of the grapes and yeah the Cedarburg is in a nature reserve we're surrounded by about 180,000 hectares of pure nature so amazing landscape went for a hike today it was incredible <laughs> it's great yeah, and he's now done 16, 17 years on the farm and it's been really, really successful. If you just look at all the awards we've won in the last uh, 10, 15 years, it's really amazing if you look at the consistency of, of the wines produced in this area. Yeah, so... Yeah, well, it's an amazing place. If you're ever in uh, South Africa or in Cape Town, we're about what, two and a half hours away from Cape Town. Get down here and have a look, you'll blow your mind. It's the most incredible looking place you'll ever see as far as winery is concerned. So, uh, anyway, Lurchy, I'm going to bring back a bottle and we'll give it a taste. And uh, thanks so much for having us. Pleasure. Cheers. So, that was uh, Yako and me at Cedarburg having a bit of a chat in the. Uh, that was amazing, Sampy. Some incredible, wasn't it, Lurchy? Amazing. Amazing. Awesome. So, so, we better just jump Spell straight into this. Now, the South Africans, mate, they still dig their cork. So we cool. have to well, go through the cork procedure. They haven't quite gripped the Stelvin. It's more a yet. traditional thing than anything. Like a Stelvin, you don't get any seepage through the cork, no air, nothing happens. Yeah. But the cork somehow gives it a bit of character. It's got a lot more romance to opening a bottle of wine like that than just a yeah. crack, crack, crack. How so. you going, babe? Crack, crack, crack. Screw, screw, screw. That's it, yeah, the uh, Slamilios must have been hating that when it first came through. So, uh, once again, we are having the Five Generations 2010 Cabernet Sauvignon. So the colour. Let's have a look at the colour, mate. Oh, colour. I was just going to have a taste. It's... Uh, leggy. It's leggy. Looks a little thin, don't you think? Oh, oh look, I... Oh, no, the legs are there. Oh, sorry. I'm, I'm just... I guess the last one at 14, oh, that looks the same to me. Yeah, no, there's lots of legs there. That's... Uh, it's not too bad what is it? Tell me. 14%. It is 14% on the dot, brother. Booyah, kasha! Well done, well done. So let's have a sniff. Now that's, it's big. It's got the bigness of like a warm climate uh, sort of shreds, mm. but it's got that little clean icy edge to it, which gives it the cool climate this, isn't it? It's, you can almost Taste the tannins on the nose, can you? It's, it's, it's very reflective. Very fine. It's very reflective the landscape because, uh, as you know, because you've seen the clip so far of yeah. the pre-show, <laughs> that this place is like the uh, Pilbara right? on the landscape. Right. It's, you've got all the mountains and all the red iron ore sort of landscape of the Pilbara, and in the middle of it there's a valley and it's like Margaret River. So you've got this, this, these vineyards against this crazy landscape and uh, I think the smell of it absolutely reflects it. You've got the warmth, 
and the coolness in exactly the same thing. Well, it's the, it's the reason I love Cabernet, is that first smell, and you get everything that you get on the taste of it. It just gives you a forewarning of the loveliness that's coming. Let's try it out. Oh! Mate, that's as full body as Roseanne Bar. <laughs> Fair dinkum. <laughs> Fair dinkum. There's really Dinkle. nice cherry there. There's, uh, there's, there's almost no strong... How's what it's got? It's got the intensity of the fruit. It's got the fine tannins, that's just saying. Super fine tannins. Super those, fine. Those are... That's, they, they're dog. And the length... Velvet. It's... Mate, John Holmes has got nothing on this. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's, it's sensational. Um, yeah, just so too. It's it's not velvety. It's like a plush carpet on my tongue, basically. Plush carpet. Plush carpet. Plush carpet. Plush carpet. You know, what, I'm hesitant to hand out a ten, and in this case, I won't. No. Because it's only a nine. What do you think because it's a ten nine? is unattainable. You're the cab sab guy, mate. So, I'm, I'm, this is what I live for. This is what I love. It is really nice, isn't it? It's, it's, got, it's, it's a little savoury bite at the end there. It's, oh, it's, it's got everything. It's really nice. So, uh, just give me a, like a uh, a Cuban cigar and a shot of rum. For that type what of else cigar. do I need? Dip the uh, cigar in. <laughs> Good evening. Thanks, Yako. You've done a sensational job, mate. We are uh, very, very impressed. Yako, yes. Yako, Yako. Till next time, this has been Bogan's Guide to Wine. Go South Africa, you're doing really, really well. Keep it up, but send more our way. Booyah! Well, thanks, Cedarberg. I'm wearing your shirt. Oh. Wines with altitude. I like that little sell slogan. Out, sell out. Yeah, and uh, well, I had to pay for the shirt. I weren't that bloody generous. Oh, okay. But anyway, okay. um, I think that too much more covers this. Is anyone out there? I need a new flannel. <laughs> <Well, laughs> <laughs>